In this tutorial, we are going to talk about how you can showcase your 3D design and be able to emphasize on the construction of the components that make up your product. This is a 3D model of a speed production gear, and it is composed of several mechanical elements. Select the model by clicking on the main assembly in the objects tree to the left. Then from the geometry menu, click on Explode. Explode is a SimLab Composer feature that allows you to visually break down your design into separate components in a controlled fashion. Once you select Explode, the Explode controller will be created and positioned at the center of the model. Click and drag the green indicator at the tip of the green arrow. The green indicator controls the explosion in the Y axis, while the red indicator controls the explosion in the X axis, and the blue indicator controls the explosion in the Z axis. The arrows, on the other hand, control the center of the explosion. Switch to a top view and drag the green arrow to the left, then slide the green indicator. Notice that the orientation of the explosion has changed and all the components are breaking towards the right side of the explosion center. Choosing an appropriate point to be the center of the explosion helps in better demonstrating where the main component or the main driver of the mechanism is. Explode the model using the red indicator to spread the components along the X and Y axis. Notice that the design has been broken down to five parts. This is due to having five assemblies under the main assembly of the design. Even though the gearbox is comprised of more than 60 parts, the Explode tool will only affect the first level of components. So if you expand the assembly named Right Group, you will notice that it includes several components, but those components are sticking together despite using the Explosion tool. Having a hierarchy to follow while using the Explode tool is essential to organizing how your components behave, especially if you intend to create an animation for the explosion. To apply the exploded state, click on the green mark. Now select the assembly called Right Group and from the Geometry menu, select Explode. Performing Explode on Group separately gives you more control over the appearance and arrangement of the components. And it's more advised to use it to break down your model since you are to have an explosion within an explosion in SimLab Composer. The Explode tool can efficiently be animated in SimLab Composer. But before we proceed with the animation, let us revert the 3D model to its earlier state prior to using the Explode tool. Select the front group and from the Geometry menu, select Unexplode. Once you have reverted all the assemblies to their original state, Click on the Animation tab in the panel to the bottom. Slide the timeline to frame 50 and while the model is selected, click on Explode from the Geometry menu. Expand the Explode indicators in all directions and click on the green mark to apply the transformation. Note that the keyframes for each group have been automatically created on frame 50, and when you play the animation, the main groups will begin to explode till they reach frame 50. Set the time slider to frame 60 and select the assembly named Right Group. From the Geometry menu, select Explode. Use the indicators to separate the components from each other and click on the green mark to apply the exploded state. Play the animation and notice that the components in the right group assembly begin to explode the instant they started separating from the center group. But the way we need it to behave is to start exploding after the main explosion has ended. To achieve this, we need to move the initial keyframes to frame 50, which is where the first animation stops, 
or simply set the time slider to frame 50, and with the right group selected, go to Geometry and select Unexplode. This will tell SimLab Composer to apply the unexploded or initial state for this group on all frames preceding frame 50. Now if you play the animation, you can see that the exploding process is not happening simultaneously for all the components, but rather in the order we determined. Continue by using the Explode tool on the front group at frame 60. Then set the slider to frame 50, then use the Unexplode tool to restore its initial state. Since the last two groups are comprised of simple elements, create an explosion at frame 60, but do not enforce their initial state at frame 50 as a way of varying the animation. SimLab Composer's Explode feature is a great aiding tool that allows mechanical engineers and product designers to enhance the demonstration of their 3D models. And the ability to convert the explosion to an animation makes it a powerful choice for use in 3D PDF and for producing rendered videos that further improves your presentation.